Guys, welcome to this encounter with Kofi Ochiame. Daniel Amwating. Mm. That's your name. Mm. Why Kofi Ochiame? Well, it, it was because of the band I belonged to from the start, which is the music journey, hip life, that is. So we, we curated that Achiami name, and um, the definition would be that we were serving as you know, the mediators between God and man. Great. So this is Joy Entertainment. My name is Kwame Dazi. It's going to be a very, very revealing interview. I've been waiting for this interview for how many years now? Like, uh, five years Yeah, now. yeah. Finally, we're here. And uh, I'm here with Kofi Ochiame, formerly Ochiame Kofi. I'll be asking him why he decided to change from Kofi Ochiame, from Ochiame Kofi to Kofi Ochiame, mm. right? Mm. Make sure you follow us on Joy Entertainment, all our social media handles, and read our stories on myjoyonline.com. But, Brian Kofi, why this hairstyle? This is for us, the Gen Zs. Mm -hmm. Why are you competing with us? You know, I, I thought maybe by now Kofi would just decide to yeah, lay back and then allow the younger people like us to to wear these styles of hair. I'm like YFM, I'm young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> every day, all day. I think every African should look like this. We're, we're not supposed to comb our hair. Oh, we're, really? We're supposed to be as natural as possible. It took me a long time to realize that. Yes. The, it, it, has, it has its own spiritual advantages as well. It has spiritual advantages. Your hair is your antenna. You receive. It's like a receptor. You receive through your hair. Why do you think all the biblical heroes, they have hair and they have beard? Wow. At least. The pictures we've seen of it. <laughs> You yeah, understand? Tell me, tell me. How, how, Moses, how Abraham. How spiritually beneficial is your hair to you? If I get into that, uh, the interview is going to change. Pair the subject matter. So you let's just say that. It has spiritual benefits. Why do you think that when you are being blessed, the oil is poured in your hair? I don't know. Tell me. Because that is what connects to your brain. Where does God live in this body? Your heart. Your heart is here. This is an organ. Your heart is here? Out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Do you speak from your chest or your brain? <laughs> so your heart is here. God lives here. This body is controlled by God. Science proves it. Everyday life proves it. It's here. Where is your crown? Your temple? It's here. Mm -hmm. So they say, do not allow anybody to touch your temple. Okay. So when they say the body becomes the temple, it's actually here. That's where God will praise. Really? Okay, so now tell us. We knew you as Oshami Kofi. Mm -hmm. And one day you said we should call you Kofi Oshami. Mm -hmm. Why? It's the same same two names. Oshami yes. Kofi Kofi, Kofi Oshami. Oshami. To remix the name, I, I had two reasons for doing that. It was to mark the era, you know, the end of uh, an era and the beginning of a new one. Uh, as in my life. You understand? That was the end of, you know, my stage music journey. As in for me to be a performing artist and all of that, I wanted to, you know, I wanted people to understand that that part of me was gone, and I was starting a new phase. And then, I don't know for some reason, people never were able to make us out individually. When I say us, I mean Kwame and myself. Okay, I so me. yeah, Achami. So basically, um, it was also to differentiate the name a little because they'll see me and call me Achami Kwame. They see him and call him Achami Kofi. 
I think I get the Kwame more than he gets the Kofi. Yeah, but really. So I made that effort, and and I think it's worked because they will say Ochami Kofi and say, oh sorry sorry Kofi Ochami, and you understand. So people make conscious efforts to to say the right thing, to differentiate us. Uh, that doesn't go without saying that a lot of people still make me. I've been called Papa Sly. I've been called oh. Azigiza. I've been called <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nana, Nana, Nana Kwame. <laughs> the, the day somebody called me Papa Sly, I just stood there, looked at the dude. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> <Tell me how. laughs> I've been called Azigiza. I've been called Bollery. I've been called Ella. You know, but the Kofi Ochami pretty much worked. Wow. Yeah. Uh, between media and then music. Okay, so media, music. Which one is your first love? Media. I was on radio before I started professional music. Okay. People, people think otherwise, but no. I was on Continental on campus, which is KNUSD, back in the day with Kwame Dinkwa. Uh, he gave me that opportunity. Yes, which is Conti. I walk from home and go there to play and everything and then i started professional broadcasting from um was it 1996 uh, uh. 1996 professionally i even got on which is multimedia yeah. so i started with love fm in kumasi yes uh, even before kwame didn't crack got the chance to also get onto professional radio and stuff like that so i was i was pretty active on radio and even before that, in my formative years, I, <laughs> ah, you're walking me down memory lane. I'll, I'll put systems together and act a DJ. I'll play for myself and act, you know, a presenter. Uh, hold a mic in the mirror and just act like, you know, uh -huh. I'm Mike Keegan or somebody like that. Wow. Yes. Do you, do you feel that you've accomplished all that you wanted to have as a musician? All your achievements as a musician, have you accomplished all those? Um, accomplishment, well, until the bones are rotten, I don't think I've done what I'm uh, expected to do or mm -hmm. what I've really always wanted to do. It's, it's still in the process, but when it comes to active stage life, I think, yes, I brought that to an end because I gave myself up to 30 to call it quits and, and move on. Uh, it was it, wa it was the plan. From I knew from the outset. Yes, Kwame knew this. Yeah, uh, I knew at thirty I was going to settle. Listen, I have never been a big fan of stage. Nah. Why? It's just not me. I I, I like to create things, but I see people doing what I create more than myself. So even in the case of Kwame and myself, I was, I was a shadow writer. I was writing everything. I was creating the music. And he was performing. Until the time he felt like, you know, just join me because it'll be much more fun. And then, you know, the, he, he needed a hype man. <laughs> So whilst he's doing his stay, you know, another guy will be in the back, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> scaring the people for you. <laughs> and that's how uh, that's how the group came into into what it became. And then then the, yeah, that was it. So I've always been the creative writer, the creative person, and I think that's my place. I got tired. I got tired traveling with the music, moving from this city to the next. Sometimes you need to go to the window and remind yourself which country you're in <laughs> and, and all of that. Uh, it wasn't sitting too well with me. So I knew I was going to take a bow earlier, depending on how things went. And uh, how I saw it, I think my plan was, was on point. Then again, I also had my love for media and my, my life idea what I wanted to really do you know start a media conglomerate audiovisual productions yeah. and stuff like that and the music and what it was doing wouldn't allow me much so I decided I was gonna quit irrespective
So that was the birth of M Clan or before that? That was the birth of M Clan. M Clan was, was my baby, was an idea from a very early age. And up to date, I still have the floor plan of the building that I saw in that early age, how it was going to be, how the divisions in the building was, which floors were the offices, which ones were the studios and the complete idea of owning film studios where wow. you know it will be commercial for people to access and everything and still on that fight so we're building it gradually but we're getting there wait mm. it's in the offing it is it is this is one of our studios we're shooting in yeah yes we have a couple not music this is a music studio which is audio production and then when you go in there we have about three more studios okay one is still under construction, which is also, no, that would be about four. Uh, uh. The fourth is still in construction. So, yeah. So, you write music, you produce music, mm. you score films, mm. <laughs> you play the keyboard, <laughs> mm. you do screenwriting, right? Yes, um, yes. I do screenwriting, but I haven't made much strides in that area yet. But yes, I've written stuff, I've produced stuff. Mm -hmm. How did you learn all these different skills in the arts? One, it starts from talent and then enhancement. I studied in America a little, Good. you know, to enhance what God had, has given me. And to really actualize it, you need and then you need the wisdom from God as uh, well, uh. To, to bring it together to, to make sense. But the real core of it is the ability to wake up in the morning and do the things that you've not learned from anywhere. Uh -huh. That's how I discovered myself, and it was at a very early age. Like I said, I used to put systems together, and uh -huh. I was at uh, a broadcast station, which will broadcast to about 10 houses. I had a friend who was also into electronics that would build transmitters. Uh -huh. So he will put it there, and he will bring me a transmitter, and then we need to go to the houses and tell them that Chalima, I saw my feed, you know, so you guys should tune in. And it doesn't go beyond the next five houses or ten. Yes, that's how I started. And my father had an old grande, you know, gramophone, these old boxes. I will connect a Walkman to it and wake okay. up in the morning and feel like everybody wants to hear my playlist and play the music again. <laughs> We rented a house, then the landlady will come and just raise the roof down with insults. Oh. Are you crazy? What, are you, what do you think you're doing? Waking up everybody, we are tired. <laughs> but that's how it started. And, you know, I, was, I became a big fan of GBC uh -huh. in the early days with Dusty Wayne and um, Tommy Annan forcing okay. their Ever Ready show. Uh, yes, I would listen to that show and imitate everything they would do on that show. And I, I'm glad to say at a later time, when, when I got to Love FM, the program's director was Dusty Wayne. Okay. And, and he gave me a lot of my radio lessons. I nev I'll never stop mentioning his name. He realized I had a natural flair, flair. for it. So he took time and said, listen, you, you like me when I was your age. And I'm going to do everything possible for you to, you know, survive in this industry. And he actually nurtured me. So between media and music, which of these has really paid? Media. Wow. Any day. There's no two ways about it. You don't get that. enough, a lot of money from... What music from gave music? me was a good foundation. It gave me a name, which is priceless. You cannot, you cannot buy that from a store. In this world, I believe that your name is everything. When you have a good name, it opens doors. Depending on the name that you have, it, it, it creates good connections. It gave me a platform for me to use to be able to do what I was cut out to do. And, but to see fiscal money, to be able to gather money and put it away and say that I have a saving, to dream of buying something and money wouldn't be a limitation and everything. It's my media job. It, it wasn't the music. Wow. No. Nah. 
Okay. Um, Kofi Ochiame. I nearly said Ochiame Kofi. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Kofi Ochiame right here, Joy Entertainment. Now, let me ask you. Um, you wrote Shania Diamond for Becca, right? Yeah. Which other artists have you written songs for? I wrote for Delali. Adore your son. It's here. Yeah. Okay. Look, okay. Look who's calling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kwame is on the phone. Uh, no, put him on, man. Uh, <laughs> Kwame. Uh, ja, you just budged into an interview. I'm doing an interview for Joy Prime. And you're on speaker. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, you should do it, Claire. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. What okay. was your question again? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Still right here, Joy Entertainment. I'm here with Kofi Ochiame. Let me ask you. Mm. You wrote She yes. for Becca. Yes. Uh, which other artists did you write songs for? I've written material for, like I said, Della, mm -hmm. uh, mentor. I used to manage yeah, her, yeah. I, uh, one of the people that influenced her mentor appearance. Mm -hmm. I've written stuff for Ophelia Nyantichi, yeah, who, who is now Abna Sewa. Okay. I managed her, actually produced one of her biggest songs right now, Mini Pooh. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't write that song directly, but I produced it, you know, in the studio okay. with with my assistant. And um, I've written for Achami, uh -huh. all the five albums. Okay. I was the writer. Kwame wasn't a writer then. Including his verses? Including his verses, yeah. You're kidding me. His verses? Everything he wrote. So you, you had to write for him to go learn, rehearse? Yes. Yes, everything. Every, I told you I used to write for him even before yeah. we became a group. So when it came to writing, he wouldn't even bother. Mm, mm. He knew that he was taken care of, you know. And, you know, I'm an introvert. Kwame is an extra. Kwame liked to go around and meet people. Okay. You know, uh, I always told him you should try marketing because you make good mm -hmm. strikes mm -hmm. in there. And uh, I would write, create the music. And then he will come. This is your part. And then you he will put it in there. Wow. Yes. But the messing about verse, messing about verse. Yes, my contributions are in there. That is a verse uh, he wrote for a feature. Okay. Somebody was trying to do with them, mm -hmm. and I think the guy never brought it out. So he took elements from that. And yeah, then we'll come on there, Abra, that part. Yeah, and okay. then yes, and then we we add it, and then that verse was also created. But aside from the bread bro, by him out to Winnie Asabaso, to all the songs we created. How 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 do you feel when you hear people rap word for word, Mr. Mm. 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 And I wrote for X Do. <laughs> This is why Reggie Rockstar would never which, like me. Which, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I think I've heard this before, but let, oh, let me yeah, yeah. Which, which verse? The, the entire song? The entire song. Hey, Maba. Oh, Maba. That is. Oh. About my Bel name. My name is in the song. Belkovi. Yeah. So you did that. Uh, why, why, why did the, you do that? Why, why the the you, way you put it. No, why, why did you it, instigate a fight? Instigate. I did no such thing. Exdo came to me in Kumasi. He actually moved from Accra came to Kumasi, he had a beat from Nana King, and was looking for what to say with it. So <laughs> we brainstormed, and, and hmm. the idea came, because you know people were living in Accra, we were living in Kumasi, we were the kimpings of the Kumasi uh -huh. rap, uh -huh. and an Accra person was claiming presidency. The beef is starting over today. You are a silent killer. <laughs> 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 so it was to say, my friend, 
also our own president, also yeah. our own two residents. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I've 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 written a couple of stuff for people. It's not just coming, but I've done I've done stuff. I've done stuff. Hey, mm. Kofi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was talking about you see, sometimes you go for a program and then they play Masanaba. Yes. And you hear I said Ma, to everybody, when 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 you hear them sing word for word, mm. how how do you feel? It taught me a lesson that you know whatever it is that you want to do there are no dull moments mm -hmm. whatever it is that you do do it well do it with all your might anything worth doing at all is worth doing well that's what my art teacher would tell me okay back in secondary school because i wrote those things and underestimated it i thought i was creating another song I didn't know I was creating the next big thing to happen to this country when it comes to popular music. Mm -hmm. It amazes me. It never stopped. Three days ago, I was at the Aquabua concert. Okay. And you know, I've been out of scene for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even claim music anymore. But the people that made me out, they will still see me.